Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. Today I have some goodies that were sent to me from FG Normal. So a big, big thank you to FG Normal for these goodies. And it's a mixed review because there's one cross stitch kit and two diamond painting kits. So let's check out what I got. We'll start off with the cross stitch kit. So this one is a Joy Sunday. It's a 14 count, 40 by 27 centimeters. And it's another one in the series um, of like a village street. And I've shown one before in the series, which was a cafe and candy shop. And I think there's about six, six or eight in the series, but I got another one that I like, which is the flower market. I don't want everyone in this street series. Um, they are all nice, but they're not all uh, appealing to me. But if you are interested in them, I'm sure some people would like the whole series. Let's have a look now. I've pulled out everything. So while I've got it out, I might as well show you up close. This is the flower market. So it is really nicely detailed and they generally have uh, every stitch almost maybe not the three quarter ones but all of the other stitches in them but we'll check it out in a moment as always with joy sunday you get your beautiful chart which is you know almost an a4 sort, sort of book but in this one it goes this way and this way no this way <laughs> and you have Three types of stitches in this one, full stitch, French knot and back stitch, so not too bad, but you can sort of see there's a lot of back stitch uh, on this one, and that's what brings out the detail. And it looks like it's a total of 50 colours, so definitely going to be well detailed with that many colours. Here is the canvas. So it's not a massively big canvas and it's a partial because you only have to do the bit in the center there. But being that it is uh, this size, which I think I said 40 by 27 centimeters, the color changes a lot. And yeah, then you've got to do your back stitch on top of it. So, you know, it's for a bit more of an intermediate to advanced cross stitcher. Um, but you want all of that because that is what gives you the detail. So yeah, it's going to look absolutely superb once it's done. And the canvas itself is printed really clearly, quite easy to read. But if sometimes when you get your thread on it, you can start to lose a bit where you're at. So that's why having a nice chart is always a great thing as well and with joy sunday also you get your edges sewn so that you don't get fraying as you're doing the canvas so yeah that's a nice one indeed and the thread oh gosh it's on the cards thank goodness see this is another good thing with joy sunday they have them on these solid cards not those little individual ones um there's your needles you've got two cards because as I said, there's 50 colours, so there's colour or colours, 46 to 50. And there's going to be a nice range in this too, um, which will give it yeah, a nice look. And this is 31 to 45. Some really nice greens in there, I like those ones, really pretty. I'm, I'm just a bit awkward in uh, sorting out these cards. I still prefer all my thread on these things but I'm just awkward in <laughs> dividing it I, I think this is a better way for sure there's colors 1 to 15 some nice mauves and light purples in there and colors 16 to 30 and it looks like we're getting some nice blues and yellows and oranges in there so all the colors of the rainbow Definitely a nice colour palette and this is going to look fantastic. As always, uh, Joy Sunday kit, not a drama at all. So we'll put this away and we'll bring out the first of the two canvases, 
which is this one and it is a 30 by 40 and it's one that I haven't bought in a while um theme wise I mean obviously I'm not buying the same canvas again and again <laughs> but it's my cat ones I haven't got a cat one for a while so first of all there is your standard toolkit and I'll poo <laughs> Oh, big poo. Hang on, you get their canvas so I can whinge. <laughs> um, poo. I have, I've had a few unboxings where these have not been visible or part of the kits and now they're sneaking in again, so poo. But you can, speaking of poo, that's pretty much the colours you can see on top. There's a lot of um, earthy tones in this one and there usually is with the cat ones. So um, yeah, we won't be looking at those. I'll chuck them aside, poo. <laughs> and here is the actual canvas. Uh, this one is time spent with books and cats is never wasted. So true. So it's 20 colours in this one, mostly earthy browns. Bit of pink there to bring out the flowers and oh blue eyes obviously. I think this is a, is this a Burmese or a Siamese cat, one or the other. Um, and if you had um, leftover rhinestones you could use them on the cat's eyes to really make them shine but I I do love my cat ones and I haven't as I said selected one for a while because I haven't seen any new ones or ones I've wanted for a while but it's nicely printed very sticky no dummy circles <laughs> which is great and it also looks like it's printed in the modern style uh, not pixelated in other words, um, the words themselves have a number of different colours in them. I think that's to give it some shading. But I would probably, and I think, not probably, I would definitely um, suss out how many drills I have left, of course, if I had enough, but just make them all one colour, then it's easier to see. But, I mean, the words themselves look printed really quite clearly and easy to read. I can see them through the camera's viewfinder. Uh, they make sense and I can see it uh, with the naked eye and it makes sense. So yeah, a nice one. And being it's a 30 by 40, which is more like your 24 by 34, I can use my magic tool to put that cover down. <laughs> easy peasy. Look at that. Professional. <laughs> she's getting good at it so yeah very happy with this canvas I'll pop it aside and we'll bring out the third canvas which is an AB drill one so before I show this one as I mentioned it's an AB drill one it's a 30 by 30 is it too early for Christmas heck yes but did I get it anyway heck yes why do I think it's too early for Christmas I have a rule uh, in my family that we're not allowed to discuss Christmas till after my birthday. So <laughs> anything that's Christmassy, and especially, especially not allowed to talk about Christmas before Halloween. Um, I don't know what it's like in other parts of the world, but here in Australia you get we're starting to get more Halloween stock in, which is fantastic. But they're also starting to stock the Christmas stuff at the same time, but in a small corner. And oh gosh, that annoys me. Let's just, you know, Christmas is going to start being stocked in August before we know it. Or January, all year round. <laughs> but it really does annoy me. So yeah, I know I'm showing a Christmas one. It's not my birthday yet, but I'm showing a Christmas one. Because you want to get in early when you want to buy some Christmas stuff. I get that. So I've given in and <laughs> I've picked this one. And largely because it is AB Drills, it's a Christmas theme. I want to see what it looks like. So as always with AB Drills, you get your slightly better than average toolkit. There's the drills. We will check them out in a moment. And you might have seen it. Here it is. It's Santa with his balls. Balls. <laughs> Santa and his ball balls. 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 And I've already noticed it's red. So there's going to be 666 in it because I love that with Christmas. I believe it's a Christmassy red. And I wonder if that's going to be one of the AB drill colours. Won't that be excited if it is? So I should uncover it. Now this one is printed old style, 
in the sense it's pixelated. Um, it still looks really good. You can still work out what it is, and I've got no drama with that. Um, but you can sort of see it is... Oh, that's because it is a square drill. Hang on. Yeah, it's a square drill, you idiot, Sally. I was about to say you can see how square everything is. Oh, it's because it's square drill. Oh, dum-dum. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. So this will be interesting. I haven't done a square one for a while. So I will be getting this one done uh, in Christmas, in December, uh, but not before because it's for Christmas. So it is square. Now I have seen other channels report they've had some issue with the square ones that they pop, but we'll, we'll check it out when I do this one. We'll see how it goes but I like it it's printed clearly looks like there's a nice color range um, and it's not super sticky but it's sticky enough you don't need it super sticky you just need to make sure it's going to stick the drills but yeah these ones are all done by the same factory I'm pretty sure it's all done on slightly thinner canvas the really loud rustly cover <laughs> It will be 30 centimetres. It's either going to be something like 29 to 30 centimetres. So they are the size they say they are. And this is proof in the pudding. When I cover these ones with this tool, it usually goes the full length of a 30 by 30. So this is just showing you that it is genuinely going to be two size. And I never can cover these ones up nicely because it's so thin it just wrinkles look at that just a mess just a mess <laughs> but I'll have that somewhere to flatten out so it's ready to do for Christmas I'm not gonna worry it's poured glue it's not as precious as double-sided adhesive so let's check out the drills so I wonder how many ABs to normal we'll get for a 30 by 30 I'm hoping to get at least four, but we'll see. I'm pulling them aside as I see them. There's two. There's three. A lot of 310 in this one, obviously. Uh, it looks like it might be just three. I can't see. Yeah, because my 666, which is here, is not... AB drills in this one. It is normal. Oh bum. All right, three for a 30 by 30. Look, I've had more on a 30 by 30, but I guess there's not, well, there's 30 colors, so it's what, a one-tenth ratio? Look, we'll see how it goes. I would have liked maybe a bit more, but again, it might have oversaturated it, especially like if it was the red, because there's a lot of red on Santa. But there's your colour palette. It's a nice colour palette. It's going to be largely reds and black. And these will be like your, for your baubles, your golds and stuff. And the three that are AB are colour 762, colour 3865 and colour 948. I wonder if that's on his face. I just want to have a look. Yeah, it's just around this light part of his face here. So yeah, there's not a lot of his skin showing, so that's why it's not a lot there. But 3865 is going to be highlighting his beard. So that, yeah, I think that that's a good way to do it. And colour 762, which is colour 12, it's this weird sort of... Yeah, his beard as well. So they've decided to use the AB drills to highlight his beard, like where it's lighter here, and the highlight of his face. So that's okay. That's going to make Santa look nice and bright. So let me pop all this away and we'll come back for final thoughts and outro. So here they are, the awesome products that were kindly sent to me from FG Normal. So again, a huge thank you to FG Normal. It's truly appreciated. And I'd like to thank everybody for watching. It's also truly appreciated. Leave me a comment down below on what you thought of these kits. Do you have a favourite? I think this one's going to turn out quite nicely. I will get this one done for Christmas, so I'm going to keep it aside. 
and as always I love my cat posters and that's another one in that series that I really did like but I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments so please leave a comment down below and if you can't think of anything to say leave an emoji and I will respond in kind the reason we ask for that is that YouTube likes to see engagement on video so by hitting that like button and by leaving a comment even if it is just an emoji YouTube see it as engagement and that helps everybody's channels and our algorithms and that's why we are forever saying this stuff at the end of videos and on that note if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel hit that like button and also the notification bell so you're up to date when I've released my latest video if you're interested in supporting my channel further I do have a Ko-fi and a Patreon account set up and the details are up here on screen and just a quick reminder Ko-fi is for one-off donations where a Patreon is more of a monthly subscription and you do get uh, something from me as well every month I release one of my designs that I've got on Etsy or Redbubble um, I release the PDF PNG file for it so if you want to use it you get it for free but I think that will do it for this video so everybody no matter where you are please stay safe stay weird and I'll catch you in the next one bye